April 18th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, back on the 15th, Japan plant fuel melted partway through reactors. Nuclear fuel has melted in three reactors at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and fallen to the lower sections of their container vessels, raising the spectator of overheated material compromising a container and causing a massive radiation release, the atomic, the atomic energy of Japan said in a report released on Friday. I will attach the complete story below. Well, apparently they're saying one and two uh, the fuel rods were exposed and uh, number three that the, the water um, the fuel rods were never exposed to air and if you remember that's the one with the MOX fuel and the one that had the huge explosion. Um, over to another story that was sent out to me. Um, <clears throat> Tornado causes shutdown of nuclear power plant in Arkansas. A tornado caused a temporary shutdown yesterday of a nuclear power facility in the Surrey County, Virginia, in the southeastern part of the state. A statement from the Dominion Virginia Power said both reactors shut down when an apparent twister touched the ground in the station's switchyard. The, st the statement read, quote, No releases of radioactive radioactive materials has occurred beyond those minor releases associated with normal station operations after the incident backup generators kicked in at that plant. Uh, Dominic Dominion Virginia power crews were working to restore full power to the facility. The incident has re been reported to the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission and um, this just goes to show how safe nuclear power really is. Now we had a tornado um, come in and, and, and shut a plant down in, uh, this is Virginia apparently. This is on the ArkansasMatters.com. I'll attach the website below. So in Virginia, Surrey, Virginia, a nuclear reactor uh, was shut down yesterday. Over to another story I will link below uh, on AccuWeather.com. Historic tornado outbreak, three days, 241 tornadoes in 14 states. Um, from Thursday, April 14th, 2011, to Saturday, April 16th, 2011, devastating tor tornadoes rampaged across communities of the southern United States, cities and towns from Oklahoma to North Carolina were associated by deadly twisters. The tornado outbreak led to a total of 241 tornado reports in 14 states over a three-day period. This will likely rank this tornado outbreak among the largest in history. Now I'm going to scroll down to uh, another part of this story. Ranking tornado outbreak compared to historic outbreaks. Uh, this mid-April 2011 tornado outbreak is likely to rank amongst the largest tornado outbreaks in history with two 241 tornadoes reported. There has not been a tornado outbreak in history over three days with this many tornadoes spawned by a single storm system, uh, according to uh, the person who wrote this article. Uh, the, the notorious 1974 tornado outbreaks, which occurred on April 3rd and 4th, 74, produced 148 tornadoes over the course of two days and is thought as one of the largest and deadliest tornado outbreaks in history from the storm system. Um, 2003 tornado outbreak, May 4th through 10th, 410 tornadoes occurred. However, multiple storm systems moving through the southwest into the plains triggered these tornadoes. It wasn't just one storm. In 2004, a two-day tornado outbreak, which produced 170 twisters. In 2008, Super Tornado Tuesday was 131 in one day. Um, and then she ends at this stage the exact comparison to historic outbreaks in terms of the strength and number of tornadoes cannot be made. It will take weeks for the tornado surveys, which determine the strength and the exact number of tornadoes to be conducted. But it's looking like this last uh, Lando came was one of the deadliest, biggest tornado outbreaks um, in recorded history here in the United States. Um, let's go to the extinction protocol. We've had a second 5.2 earthquake in Australia in 48 hours. 
April 17th, 2011. This is the second 5.2 earthquake to strike Australia area in 48 hours. The latest quake struck just off the coast of northwest Australia at a depth of about 13 kilometers. On April 16th, a 5.2 earthquake rattled Queensland. Uh, this is the largest earthquake to strike the region in more than 70 years. And then they've got another story, uh, Seismic Shall... Seismic map shows mounting number of quakes in the California Nevada region. region. Um, they are reporting 624 quakes have been uh, reported in over a seven day period, and that is the state of California and Nevada. Got another uh, big story World Bank says. World Bank says world one shock away from a full-blown crisis. Now this has to do with crop loss and food. Uh, Washington DC, the president of the World Bank has warned that the world the world is one shock away from a full-blown crisis. Robert Zolik cited raising rising food prices as the main threat to poor nations who risk losing a generation. He was speaking in Washington at the end of the spring meeting of the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. Meanwhile, G20 financial officials will also meet in Washington, pledge financial support to help new governments in the Middle East and North Africa. New governments in the Middle East and North Africa. A uh, story continues and the robbery will commence at their leisure. Landslide claims the life of nine in East Java, Indonesia. Um, nine people were killed and eight others were injured on Sunday after a landslide in Indonesia's East Java province. And Terra news agencies reported, according to an eyewitness, the accident happened about 11.30 a.m. local time when the villages were looking for wood uh, near a village. He said that a number of stones of soil fell off, a number of stones and soil suddenly fell off a cliff after villagers took the firewood on the edge of the Namban River, which is just below the Steve Cliffs. Well, that's pretty crazy. 80 meters. And then they've got the tornado story. 241 tornadoes over three days. Antarctic air to bring snow shower to parts of New Zealand. So my New Zealanders watch out. Freezing and Christchurch if they don't have enough problems. Freezing Antarctic air is moving up the country today, bringing high winds, heavy rain, and snow showers to parts of the country. Met Services has issued a severe weather warning for Wellington, the Warapara, and Marlborough. The winds are expected to reach 120 kilometers an hour in the middle of the country today. We expect winds to pick up around... Um, Kakora, I am so sorry I'm killing these names. This morning and Wellington at the Wararapa from midday. Um, forecaster Gerald Burrow said Met Services warned winds of the strength have the potential to lift roofs, topple power lines, and trees making driving hazardous. We have also had a watch issued for strong winds in the East Cape of Gisborne and for the Auckland as well. And, of course, that story continues. And finally tonight, hailstones, thunder shower in southern China leave 12 people dead and 27 others injured. Uh, the Chinese Ministry of Civil Affairs reported on Sunday that gales, hailstorm, and thunderstorms battered the southern province of uh, Gongdong on Sunday, leaving 12 people dead and 27 others injured as of 7 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, no further de details were immediately available at the time of the report. And like I said, that's about all I have for you tonight. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. And uh, attach your videos below, of course. Until I see you again, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.